welcome to Light Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, the Science Sky H3 version 2. This is a multicolor, extreme throw, 21700 powered, everyday carry flashlight. The H3 V2 can be found at Amazon for a premium price of $109.95. The outgoing original H3 can be had for $89.95. And I'll show you the differences. You might want to just get the original H3, save yourself some money, or you might want this one for the extra throw. This is awesome. So let's check it out. Science Sky, as you guys know, I like the brand. Picture of the flashlight. Multicolor, long range. So you get your green, red, and white lights. Nice. All by a spin of a dial, which is really handy. B2. And of course, some contact information in the back of the box. And when you get your flashlight, it'll be packed really well. Uh, they want above and beyond, and they have a nice sculpted foam to protect everything. I like that. Need set up for packing. So I'll show you what you get in the box. So in the box, we get the star of the show. There we are, the H3 version 2. Beautiful. We get a carry holster. We get a charging cable. It's a USB to Type-C for the internal battery. It does not have an external jack. Some people love that, some people don't. Uh, it just depends on the person. If you're hunting, you probably don't want the external jack. You just want the internal battery. And just carry an extra battery. Warranty card. Cool. We have some extra goodies here. We have a carry lanyard, some extra O-rings, and an extra rubber tail switch. Nice. And then we have the manual, which I'll go over really quick. Open all the way up for posterity in case you lose yours. There's an illustration of the flashlight. We got a little paragraph there, kind of bring it into focus. You can read it if you'd like. The specifications, as you can see, it's got white, red, green, just like the original, except they add an eco mode, which is nice. So you get your low, medium, high turbo strobe, and now eco, which is fantastic. And there's your run times, throws, and different things you might want to know. A couple of extra specs at the bottom. Go into your discharging curves. You can kind of see what each mode gives you before it throttles down. It's very handy to see. Uh, power graph, luminosity over time. There you go, Eco. <laughs> it's a little two lumens for 400 hours. Amazing. Red, green. There you go. Product features. Okay, I'll go over that stuff. Pretty basic. Operating instructions. Okay, switching modes. It's Pretty simple. It's a very simple flashlight with memory function, which is handy. There you go. It adds a uh, power uh, battery level indicator on the power switch, which is nice. Low voltage warning. It will flash the main light uh, when the battery is getting low, when you have it mounted and you can't see the power switch. It's kind of a nice feature. All right, caution, warranty again. And what's in the box? I think that's the rest on there. There's the whole manual done. I'd like to spend a little time to get that out of the way. All right, let's uh, move some stuff out and get to the H3. Let's go over dimensions of this bad boy. Bring this on down just a little bit. All right, so uh, anti-roll, which is nice. The tail's notched. Uh, the H original H3 didn't have that, and I'll show that to you in a moment. Um, so yeah, the length of this flashlight is six and three quarter inches or 171 millimeters. We have a head diameter of 1 and 5 eighths of an inch, or 41 millimeters. And we have a tail diameter of 1 inch, or 25 millimeters. I like how they built the tail. They changed the switch. They made it smaller, uh, more protected. So, very cool. Uh, for size comparison, I brought out uh, some other flashlights that can try to compare, but uh, gives you a general idea for size. Let's see if I can get this in the frame. The whole thing pretty much there. I think I got it in the frame. Uh, here we go, a little AA powered flashlight. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> here we got an 18650 flat top. Just shows you how big this H3 really is. Uh, but it produces some amazing throw and some amazing color. Did some outdoor uh, video of it in action. You're going to love to see that, so stay tuned. Here's an 18650 everyday carry TC15. I like this flashlight. Use it all the time. But as you can see, quite the difference. And then we'll bring in the original H3. To kind of give you an idea of what's changed a bit. So we'll kind of lay these sideways because the original H3 does roll. So this kind of helps not roll. 
So big differences right away. You can see the body design changed. Uh, the ring changed. They put wider grooves, easier to grab onto and change the color uh, for the color wheel. Switches changed. You get that little window there giving you battery life. Though it's hard to see uh, when you turn the light on. Click it. Oops. Tail. It's it's kind of in the dark you'd see it. You can see how it's not very visible uh, when there's daylight. But there you go. Just you got to cup your hand over it to see kind of what's going on. But at night, you're going to see that no problem. Uh, but yeah, definitely different body style. And what goes to the tail, um, they definitely changed the tail. As you can see, a smaller switch versus the bigger switch here. Probably This is probably easier to hit. They probably went with something a little less easy. That's probably a good idea. So you don't actually ac accidentally trigger it and scare something off. But there are the differences. So, I mean, the big deal, big takeaway is it does have longer range now. Uh, the beam's a little different. Reflectors. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you the reflectors. This is orange peel reflector. Then we got a smooth reflector. 1300 lumens versus 1600 lumens. Throw 14, 400 meters versus 575 meters. So you definitely get some throw here. Uh, this flashlight uh, produces a really uh, bright uh, center spot. This is a more diffuse spot, uh, but a, a better beam overall. Uh, but this one here has that range. So you're going to like that. But uh, if you already have the original H3, you probably don't need the version 2. But if you don't have either, version 2 is probably the one you want. All right. So let's score features of the H3. I guess I better zoom it back down. Yeah, cool. So as you saw in the front there, we have a crenellated bezel. Um, the bezels are different too, by the way. I forgot to mention that. So on the original, it's thicker. I like the originals better. That's just me personally. They went a little shallow, probably to keep the length of the flashlight. Uh, as you can see, it's slightly longer than the original. So that's probably what they were trying to achieve there. But uh, having that original bezel on there would have been awesome as well. But that's just me. Um, but you get that crenellated bezel there. Um, you have the tempered glass with uh, coatings on both sides. Smooth reflector, uh, main reflector, and small reflector. So as you wheel as we turn there for color, you can see it turned to red. I'm turning the wheel to green. You can see it has a uh, little mini reflector of its own on the colors. If you can see it there, especially on the white, you can see it down in there. And of course, our white LED is a uh, luminous SFT 40-W uh, um, and cool white. So nice. Uh, the body is made of 6061 T6 aluminum alloy. And has a Type 3 hard anodized finish. Smooth grip, um, mainly used to mount. As you can see, it's got these flat style uh, mounting spots to grip onto or to whatever you're using to clamp. Um, definitely is going to be used probably as a remote operated device, which is cool. Or you can carry it by hand. When you're carrying it by hand, it's pretty comfortable. It feels weighted nice because the battery is a 5,000 milliamp hour 21700, and it feels balanced in the hand. Right now I'm holding it. Pretty much just on my forefinger, and it's staying in my hand. It's not falling forward, so it's not top-heavy. So nice balance to it. Uh, yeah, so what else can we talk about? Uh, I like to go down the modes here. So we have, um, of course, you saw the integrated color-changing system. It's right here, this ring. It's very easy to grab onto. Um, it is pretty lubricated from the factory. You can see there's grease comes through here. So once in a while, that might make a mess. <laughs> I've had it come... Often I'm like, what the heck is over here? It's part of this to keep this nice and smooth operating. So very cool. Let's go put it back to white. There we are. Nice. Um, so we got a bunch of things I want to go over. Mode switch. Um, so on the mode switch, it did change from the original to this one. It has that battery status as you saw there. A green is good. Red is time to charge. Just remember that. It's pretty basic. I mean, solid green is 170. 100% to 75%, flashing green is 75% to 50%. If it's red on the switch, it's 50% to 25% left. And if it's blinking red, it's 25% or less. So if it turns red, time to charge or change your battery. Oh, good to know. <laughs> and of course, this changes your modes, and I'll show you how that works here in a moment. Uh, you can go through all your modes, access your eco with this as well, um, and your strobe. So uh, yeah, in the back here on our tail, we have our lanyard hook points. You know, this is a strong setup in the back there. And we got our momentary and on off switch. So we can momentary this light just by lightly tapping it, which is good without making a sound. And then uh, click on, click off. So awesome. It's a rainy evening. And if you hear some 
raindrops outside is storming. <laughs> it's good. Kind of want the lights to go off so I can do this in the dark too. That'd be kind of fun. Um, so we're almost done with the features. Um, as you saw, the anti-roll feature with the tail. And of course, opening this up, we get to the battery. As you can see, we use a nice O-ring setup here. Nice threads. The battery is a 5,000 milliamp hour variety. Protected button top um, with a, a Type-C USB for charging. I noticed a 5 volts, 1 amp in. So if you're uh, charging this, is charge it ahead of time because it's not a fast charge battery. It's a little slower charge. I was surprised by that. I thought at least I'd get 2 amps in, but I was only getting 1. So um, five, expect 5 hours to charge that battery. So definitely an overnight charge or buy an extra one. Just have an extra one on hand. All right. Uh, and will it run on a flat top? I think it does. Yes. Let's go ahead and just double check. Uh, somebody might want to know that. Um, I forgot to write it down, but I think it does because I had it out. And there is a spring in there, I believe. Yep. So you should be able to run flat tops. Some people like to run flat tops for the extra uh, amperage. Uh, there we go. So will it turn on? Yep. So there's it with the flat top. Beautiful. No, no problem running turbo with that battery. The uh, output on this one's quite a bit. I forget what it is, like 35, 40 amps. Okay, cool. Protected those good in case you drop your flashlight. Okay, we're going to head to the garage here and then show you the outdoor video here in a moment. Oh, I'm going to show you the operation. These are square threads. I don't want to cross thread them. Okay, cool. Of course, we got Iron Man. Get our color back. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves H3s from Science Sky Land. Gives you an idea with the deck of cards. Awesome. Going to be using that in a little bit. Uh, so we're almost done. Uh, so yeah, turning it on, as you saw. Very simple. Click it on and then mode change. You can from the front here. So low, medium, high, turbo. There is no electronic lockout on this flashlight. Just turn the tail. Um, just turn this a bit and it'll unlock, of course, unlock manually. So if you want to enter the eco mode, turn it off. You press the mode and hit the tail. So you can have momentary eco or click it on and now you have eco all the time. Here's your two lumen setting. It has a bit of throw to it too, for two lumens. You'll get to see the next garage pictures in a second. And of course, you have the five modes from there, but then now it goes defaults to low, medium, high. So you get your four. And then strobe, if you can't handle flashing lights, uh, turn away. Press and hold the mode. And now we have strobe. Press and hold or tap, turn it off. Oh yeah, we're going to do strobe. Okay, we're still doing the strobe. So let's do it again. And uh, it does change. There we go. It's got a fast and it goes to slow. Okay, strobe mode off. Great. Yeah, some people can't watch flashing lights. All right, great. So let's set this down. Let's go to the garage and then to the outdoor video and show you this in action. Okay, here I am in the garage, 15 feet away from the garage door. Lights on turbo. This is 1600 lumens. It's pretty crazy to be using this in the garage, but you wouldn't. Um, expect a runtime of one minute before it throttles down to 800 lumens. I did notice this outside. It does do that. Uh, and the remainder of the battery will last you two hours, 800 lumens. Not bad. And of course, a throw of 575 meters. That's fantastic. Uh, keep watching because I do go outside and show you some video of that in action. Now, lights on high. This is 800 lumens. Expect a runtime with some throttling of about four hours. And a uh, throw of about 385 meters. Now we're on a usable mode medium. This is 150 lumens. Expect a runtime of 16 hours. And I believe that's straight across with no throttling. And a throw of 170 meters. Now we're on low. This is 30 lumens. Expect a runtime of 66 hours. And a throw of 77 meters. Low at 30 lumens. And get a lot done around the house. And now you can make out this is the eco mode. This is two lumens. This is going to run you 400 hours. Definitely a mode you want to use when, say, the power's out and you just kind of want a light to last. Um, you'd want the eco mode most of the time uh, when you have your night vision. And now you can see it's bright red. This is 100 lumens of redness. <laughs> it's red and the light's on turbo. Um, same runtime, 60 seconds. And of course, it throttles down to 50 lumens. 
uh, and we'll run the remainder out at two hours. 50 lumens for two hours is amazing of red. Red's intense. A throw of 123 meters on turbo. Uh, now we're on green, which is fantastic. This green looks cool. When you see it in the outdoor video, you're going to be amazed. Uh, 400 lumens, lighting up everything so bright with green. Um, same run times as turbo. Uh, this does, when it throws down, goes about half. So 200 lumens for two hours. And a throw of 288 meters. Not bad. So let's go outside where I took the video of this flashlight in action. And we'll come back to the bench and do a quick demo. And then we'll give you final thoughts. So let's look at that video. Okay, I'm outside with the Science Guy H3 version 2. And we're going to see what this thing can do on turbo. 1600 lumens, 575 meter throw. Archway 30 feet, tree behind it 50 feet. Tree over here is 40 feet. Going down range, there's a tree at 100 feet. Stop sign's 100 meters. And then there's a gazebo between this 100 foot tree and that tree. There's a metal gazebo with two pine trees down there. I can see them clearly. Not sure if my camera's picking it up. Let's go down the sidewalk, all the way down to the street. I can see the mailboxes down there. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's go try the colors, just to see what they look like. Here's red on turbo. And then we got green. Give you an idea of hunting. Green's got more throw to it. Going down range there. I can really see quite a bit with this green. Nice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video outdoors. It does give you a general idea what the H3 is capable of. Of course, in person, uh, you can see a lot with your own eyes versus the camera lens. Um, just absolutely amazing. Uh, what it projects and what you can see. Um, if you want to, you want to see something downrange, you're going to want the H3 version too. This is absolutely amazing for throw. And of course, the color, you saw the difference. Uh, that green really is amazing. So let's go ahead and do a quick desktop demo between the original and the new V2, just to give you an idea of the beam pattern uh, at low luminosity. And we'll go from there. So H3, a little bit of recap on this one. Like I said, you can pick it up for $89 still, and I'll put links below to this flashlight as well. A uh, great flashlight. It has its color wheel, too. Of course, you got the red. You got the green. Okay, and I'll show it to you with the other one as well. Um, same battery, 21700, with that protected button top inside. Okay, momentary tail, same mode switch design. Everything's pretty much the same. No eco mode. Uh, so if you like the idea of that, that two lumen output uh, for eco, you'll have to get the V2 to get that. Uh, but still not a bad value. Um, turbo is 1300 lumens, high 450 lumens, medium is 200 lumens, its low is 20 lumens, its strobe is 1300 lumens. The strobe on the H3, of course, is 1600 lumens. Um, so if you're wondering the differences, its red on this one on turbo is 100 lumens, which is the same as that, and its green is slightly less intense at 300 lumens versus 400 lumens. So when you're, if you're wondering, and throw, of course, is 400 meters in this flashlight versus 575. All right, so let's turn the lights off real quick. Just uh, quickly show you the beam patterns, and then we'll check this one out with different colors. And then I'll do final thoughts. So let's go ahead and turn these lights off. Okay, so V2 on my right and the original on my left. And I'll bring them in. I don't know if you can see this on camera here, but the original, or sorry, the V2 has this sharp spill to it and a more intense spot. And it does have concentric rings to it. It's harder to see on my cloth here, but on the wall, you can definitely see concentric rings. Um, and this, on the H3 original, you don't see that. There, the lead-in is kind of a softer edge to your more uh, diffuse spot. Sharper spot, diffuse spot. And that's all the way up to turbo. It's the same way. But quite a bit more spill on the V2 versus the original. Probably because due to the reflector design. There you go. And color temperature wise, they're fairly similar. All right, great. So there's the H3 original. If you want to save some money, it's a great flashlight as well. 
So we'll go ahead and click that one off. So we're going to cycle this. I'm going to just aim it at the ceiling and we'll go through the modes. Okay, so right now we are on low. We're going to medium 150, high 800, turbo 1600. So yeah, we can light the room up by aiming at the ceiling. Not bad. It lights everything up beautifully. <laughs> so I like it. It's nice. Uh, so there's back to low, medium, high, turbo. And then of course we can go to eco. So for eco, we got to turn the light off, press the mode button, hit the tail, and now we're on eco. So we got that little tiny spot. It's supposed to be two lumens, so it looks like it's a lot more. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, so if you're a tuner and you want to know how it works with radios, well, it works pretty good when you're on this mode. Uh, and that's probably the only mode you're going to want to use uh, is this uh, Eco mode. It'll work on all the modes. Um, it has some RFI if you're really close, but you're not going to be really close with this light tuning a radio. <laughs> that gives you the idea. Cool. So it is doable. <laughs> some people want to know because I'm a radio channel. All right, so let's uh. Put this down, do final thoughts on H3 version 2.0. Um, yeah, rocking. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't do the colors. Got to do colors, right? Yeah, okay, so let's aim at the ceiling. Color. Green, yeah, okay, so green low, medium, high, turbo. Going to the table. Not doing direct because it's blind with the spot. We have to the corner, I can do that. Give you an idea for the spill. That's our green, and then we'll switch over to red. So red protects our night vision. Yeah, if you're a stargazer, this is nice. It'll be using probably like a lower mode like this. And I think eco red, let's find out what eco red looks like. It's like I turn that off, press the mode. There it is, two lumens of red, look at that. Wow, it's probably like, not really two, it's probably half a lumen, but that's nice. Um, give you an idea. You know, it's just great that it has this mode. Even the spill, look at that. <laughs> cool, okay. So there's that. Let's go ahead and flip the lights back on and do some final thoughts. Yeah, that red's pretty sharp. I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and I think it's still on. Yep. Turn that off. Yeah, it's a nice clicky switch. I like that. And of course, momentary. Get your momentary. And of course, you can change the mode up. And of course, that momentary turbo. It remembers mode memory. Beautiful. <laughs> Yep, mode memory color. I like in that. Very cool. So there it is, the Science Sky H3. Definitely an awesome flashlight if you're into uh, stargazing, hunting, outdoor activities. Uh, you're gonna want something like this handy. I mean, sure you can carry this, and this will get you by. But having the color choices is a big deal to me. So uh, recommendation. Uh, be honest with you. Uh, there's a lot of these color flashlights out there. The Science Guy has a quality build. I'm not sure the other ones, they have like funky zooms and different things. Uh, but if you want something that's legit, meant for hunting, meant for, you know, taking shock absorption, you're going to want this. Um, you saw the dual a spring design that helps with protecting the battery, two meter drop resistance, and IP, IP68 waterproof and dustproof. That's pretty amazing features to have on a flashlight like this. It's awesome. But the uh, H3 original is awesome, and then the V2, as you saw, ups its game. So it gets a it gets an upvote even at 109 bucks. Um, it's a premium light, and people who uh, are needing a light like this are probably going to spend the money. You know, they're probably not going to have any issue with that price because they're going to put it to use. Especially if they saw that green. That green's amazing, and and green's used quite a bit. So there you are. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. If you like Science Sky flashlights, I try to cover everything they've made. I like I picked up one brand and stuck with it. Of course, I like Drew Knight. I have some others that I stick with as well. But I really like the Science Guy label. So make sure to subscribe at the icon of future flashlights from this company. I'll definitely be picking them up. Uh, that's two. Three, comment below what you think about the H3 version 2 uh, compared to the original or compared to something you don't even have. Would this be something you consider? Um, are you a hunter? Would you use that green mode? Uh, are you a stargazer? Do you like that red mode? Uh, I like the idea of the filter being on red turn it on, it's always on red. It's not going to be white all of a sudden because you forgot to select the wrong mode and the red light didn't come on. Um, it's nice because you'll never ruin your night vision if it's set on red on the wheel. So 
just a smart setup. I like it. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Great. You guys take care and we'll see you in my next video.